Welcome to our show today. Shani World Compassion Award recipient, Frida Bears, Courage to End Animal Cruelty. Everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Even loving, caring animals also contribute in this noble category. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Invention Award, etc. These awards are to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who work amongst us, as well as heroic, beautiful animal co-inhabitants whose acts are worthy of praise and gratitude. Warning, you might find the content here in disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. The affectionate and endearing bears adored for their warm hugs and companionship are regarded as symbols of protection, family, courage, and healing. They also play many important roles in maintaining our ecosystems. Tragically, these beautiful creatures are an endangered species threatened by immense habitat loss and the illegal wildlife trade. In Asia, the Asiatic black bears, known as moon bears, and the Malayan sun bears are captured and milked for their bile in torturous bowel camps or killed for their body parts. It is estimated that today there are more than 12,000 bears suffering in bow farms in China, South Korea, Laos, Alak, also known as Vietnam, and other parts of Asia. Dr. Mary Hutton from Perth, Australia, founder of Free the Bears, has dedicated the past 25 years of her life to rescuing and combating cruelty to bears, striving to stop their suffering for as long as there are bears in need. Free the Bears, established in 1995, has helped rescue and provide ongoing care to hundreds of bears at their sanctuaries in Laos, Cambodia, and Alak, or Vietnam. Marketed as a cure for many ailments, bear bile is commonly used in traditional medicine despite public health warnings of the dangers of consuming bile from sick bears. Although laws have been enacted to prohibit taking bears from the wild and or extracting their bile in Laos, Cambodia, and Alak, or Vietnam, where free the bears operates, these practices continue behind closed doors. This is our prime importance now to work closely with the government, mm. get these farms closed down, build new sanctuaries and start looking after them. Frida Bear's world-class sanctuaries consist of bear houses, cub nurseries and wildlife hospitals that treat a variety of wild animals. They also work with traditional medicine practitioners to encourage herbal and synthetic alternatives to bear bile. 
Additionally, Free the Bears leads educational campaigns across Cambodia and Laos, offers learning zones at all their sanctuaries, as well as collaborating with schools to raise awareness of wildlife trafficking, the cruelty inflicted on bears, and their importance in the natural world. Thanks to these combined efforts, Consumer demand for bear bile has declined over the years. In Alak or Vietnam, for example, an estimated 500 bears remain on bile farms today, compared to approximately 4,300 bears in 2005. In 2009, Dr. Houghton was instrumental in helping to end an atrocious centuries-old tradition, the dancing slot bears in India. For over seven years, Frida Bears provided money to more than 500 dancing bear families to help them set up new livelihoods. 2009, I went to India and saw the last bear coming in, took the rope out of its nose, and I thought, We've done it. <laughs> that was 514 bears later, and it took just seven years, but the support we had was just amazing. Faithful viewers, we now pause for a moment to pray for the liberation of our human and animal brethren. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, reflecting on the issues our world is facing. Dr. Houghton shares her words of wisdom. We have got a long way to go in this world for it to be peaceful and loving and caring. Please try to do your bit and your best for your fellow man, your animals, your pets, the wildlife, the conservation, the environment, and to leave this planet in a better place than you were living in it. Upon hearing about the beneficent service of Dr. Houghton and Frida Bears, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly presented the Shining World Compassion Award and a contribution of 10,000 US dollars for this noble cause. Dear Dr. Houghton, it is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to Free the Bears the Shining World Compassion Award for decades-long service saving bears across Asia and laying the foundation for continuous support well into the future. The Australian government recognized you for 25 years of contribution to conservation and the environment with the Order of Australia Medal. Such has been the impact of your untiring commitment to save precious animal lives. We are also honoured to present this award in recognition of your courageous work to end the illegal trade in wildlife and provide loving homes for the afflicted. In 1993, a shocking video on the production of bile awakened you into action. Since then, Free the Bears has saved over 1,000 of the most vulnerable species, sun, moon, and sloth bears, with hundreds being rehabilitated in your sanctuaries located in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. For as long as there are bears in need, Free the Bears will strike to stop their suffering. You've had amazing successes helping to end captive dancing bears in India and reducing bile farming by working with governments to enforce laws, advising traditional medicine practitioners of alternatives, and reducing consumer demand through education programs. It's not just bears that benefit from your rescues. 20 animal species including birds, civets, leopards, macaques, pangolins, red pandas and tortoises are sheltered until they can be released. For being a beacon of light, shining bright, inspiring other light-minded saints to support the cause. For your unconditional love and passion to end animal exploitation. And for your benevolence and wisdom, it is our privilege to salute the great compassionate deeds of Free the Bears and esteemed founder, Dr. Mary Hutton, OAM. May you, your team, and the precious animals you safeguard be always blessed 
and shielded by the heavens, with love and blessings in God's mercy, Supreme Master Ching Hai. We would also like to present you this check of ten thousand U.S. dollars for free the bears. I would just like to say thank you so much on behalf of the board of Free the Bears. On behalf of all our volunteers and people that work for the fund, all our keepers and vets and everybody in Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam, I thank them so much for this beautiful award. It's very humbling. The letter I received was absolutely beautiful, full of compassion and full of praise. And I'd just like to say on behalf of everyone in the fund, thank you so very much. I send my wishes and love to the Supreme Master Ching Hai for the compassion shown and for the Lovely letter I received, and it's it's just very overwhelming. So thank you and love and hugs from everybody at Free the Bears. Thank you. As we are reporting this, Supreme Master Ching Hai is arranging to donate another ten thousand U.S. dollars to this noble cause with all love and tears of gratitude for the comfort of all the animals under your loving care. May heaven never forget your much needed benevolent deeds and reward you and your team richly. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, and or any good cause over the years. As a humble vessel for here's compassion and love toward here's precious children. Our heartfelt gratefulness, Dr. Hutton, and free the bears for your tireless efforts to rescue, rehabilitate, and enrich the lives of many precious bears. Your compassion, dedication, and courage are a light of inspiration to others, illuminating the way to a harmonious world of kindness and justice for our animal friends. May the providence bless you and your loved ones evermore with health and happiness and protect you always. For more information about Free the Bears, please visit freethebears.org and their Facebook page, Free the Bears Fund. Gracious viewers, we appreciate your company today during Shining World Compassion Award recipient, Free the Bears courage to end animal cruelty 